So I just walked into Target and the um, right behind me here where you see all these lovely swimsuits, that's where the pride display used to be. And I came in here two days ago and my seven-year-old who's non-binary saw it and said, look mom, it's pride, look, they're gonna celebrate me. And because some people complained and um, threw some stuff to the ground or I don't know what happened, they have moved to the pride section to the back of the store. <gasps> Ready for this one? Okay, let's listen, listen to this one very carefully. Hold on, you listening? <laughs> there you come. So you listening? Target, I got a great idea. Why don't we piss off all the heterosexual mommies and daddies of the world trying to protect their kids by exposing their children to gay pride products up in the front? of your store. Okay, you ready for this? <laughs> and then, let's renege, pull all of the, gray, the gay pride stuff away, and just completely go against all the gay people in the world as well. <laughs> and lose your other half of the audience. <laughs> Oh, do me a favor. Why don't you DM me and write back who is the genius behind this marketing campaign? <laughs> All right, guys. So we got to talk about woke Holly weird actress, Twilight star, Rochelle Lefebvre. And if I pronounce that name wrong, again, you guys know how it goes. Okay, I'm butchering names and butchering all types of words. It's a part of my brand at this point, okay? So, <laughs> with that being said, we got to talk about this woke Hollywood actress who uh, had a complete meltdown because Target, at least in some stores, has moved their pride section to the back of the store, okay? They moved the pride section to the back of the store because they know in the areas, the locations where that Target is located, you have people that tend to be more conservative and are not going to stand for allowing Target to target children, right? Uh, but this Holly Weird actress uh, went into a meltdown over the fact that Target did that, over the fact that they, you know, according to her, uh, you know, capitulated to the demands of terrorists, okay? And uh, she posted this this uh, video online uh, about how this is supposed to be so damaging to her non-binary or LGBTQ seven-year-old. Take a look. So I just walked into Target and the, um, right behind me here where you see all these lovely swimsuits, that's where the pride display used to be. And I came in here two days ago and my seven-year-old who's non-binary saw it and said, look mom, it's pride. Look, they're going to celebrate me. And because some people complained and um, threw some stuff to the ground or I don't know what happened, they have moved to the pride section to the back of the store. So the next time my seven-year-old comes to Target, or rather, I can't bring them here anymore, at least for the entire month of June, because if they walk in and all the other people who walk in and go, where to go, are gonna realize that they are being successful in trying to erase them. We could do so much better than this. We're not supposed to negotiate with the terrorists. We can do so much better than this. Yeah, so there's just so much that I can say here, right? But the first thing I want to start with is the whole accusations of terrorism, right? Because apparently this is something that is being said in the mainstream liberal media that the conservative boycott of Target is terrorism when target caves into this then it says that the moment you threaten the employees of even a very large corporation you get to control its policies this is economic terrorism literally terrorism creating fear among the workers and forcing the corporations to sell the things you want and not sell the things you don't so yeah that's hilarious and it's hilarious for multiple reasons right the reason why is because these people are screaming terrorism uh, because the conservative boycott, which is mostly peaceful, 
right? Um, it's just people saying, I don't want to shop at Target because I don't support what they're trying to push on children. Uh, and or you have some people going in there, um, you know, maybe doing some vandalism, right? Or, you know, giving employees a hard time. But that's the gist of it, okay? It was nothing like what we saw during the BLM protests. And these people call this reparations. Yeah. So again, it's just hilarious to me how, again, they, they call that right there. They, they were not screaming about terrorism when actual terrorists were, uh, you know, looting Target across the country. They didn't care. Right now, conservatives, again, doing mostly peaceful boycott and now they're losing their minds and crying terrorism. Absolutely amazing stuff. So with that being said, uh, we got to talk about the backlash that this woke uh, Holly weird actress got because she got a lot of it because she was just saying ridiculous things. First and foremost, most ridiculous thing. It's not just a terrorism thing, but it's the idea that a seven-year-old can be non-binary, right? I don't think she understands the point that people are upset because of the fact that you are pushing that on your child, okay? You are basically saying that your child can be non-binary, okay? You're pushing them into a lifestyle that they know nothing about. And people, yes, have a problem with that. So she got a lot of backlash for this. Did you see the video of this poor, brave mother at Target crying that her non-binary seven-year-old is not going to be represented now. Let's take a look. We could do so much better than this. We're not supposed to negotiate with terrorists. We can do so much better than this. Yeah, so having a non-binary trans kid is like having the Gucci bag for these middle-class women. That's an actual actress. She's privileged. She's got money. And I don't know if y'all noticed, but she tried to cry and failed on camera. For most of these people, this is a performance. It's just like Dylan Mulvaney. It's total clout-chasing, trendy nonsense from honestly miserable folk. Guys, if you're a mother and you're using your kid to be trendy and say, oh, they're non-binary and trans. And if your seven-year-old is saying this, like this crazy woman is suggesting, it's propaganda from the parents, okay? This needs to stop. Let me know what you think down below, guys. But man, we live in a clown world. Now for 60 seconds of liberal madness. <clears throat> Actress Rachel Liver calls for target boycotters terrorists and then second analyzes her critics. Who is she? Oh, that's right. She was like a minor part actor in Twilight and nothing else. Nobody cares about you. You're a bit thirsty for attention. So why am I even mentioning this? Because her seven-month-old son is apparently non-binary. The seven-month-old has decided he doesn't have pronouns. She said her son is upset, basically, because he's going to realize that the display has moved to the back of Target. Her seven-month-old son. Let's talk about somebody that needs to be psychoanalyzed. This is the left. I'm sorry. Let's just get over this crap and move on. The only terrorist here is this lady. Can somebody please call DCF and make sure that child is okay? Holy crap. Yeah, I agree. Right? I agree. It's totally 100% propaganda from the parents. Right? I think that is super obvious. Uh, yeah, I think the comparison of... Uh, middle class white women, right, with their non binary children is like them having a Gucci bag. Yeah, I, 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 I picked up on that a long time ago. Having a so called LGBTQ or non binary child is like a status symbol for <laughs> these middle to upper middle class women. It really is, okay? That, that is the crazy trend that's happening. But, anyways, this Holly Weird actress got a whole lot of backlash. Uh, for her silly uh, stunt that kind of backfired, right, because of the backlash that she's getting. Uh, and then she went to social media to make it worse. Take a look. So in my post about Target, I mentioned that my non-binary child was seven years old. And firstly, thank you so much to all of you who said beautiful things and offered support. Thank you. To those of you who wrote hurtful, disgusting, you know what you wrote. You know who you are. Um, <clears throat> boy, was I angry. And I punched back in a post and I posted it. And about 90 seconds later, I deleted it because something dawned on me. I was raised by an abusive mother and an alcoholic father who didn't do anything about it. And so I know 
how much pain you have to be in to hate that hard. I know the kind of hate that you have to put inside you to numb the hurt. So instead of hating back, I just choose to know how much pain you're in. Whether you're lonely, whether you feel put down, whatever it is that you are numbing with hating other people, I want to say that when you can find the courage to face that pain and you get rid of the anger, I hope there are people there who embrace you. I hope there are people there who can love you and hold space for you. And when you are ready to show up as your authentic self, the way God made you, full of love, I will be here to say, hi, it's nice to meet you. Boy, the irony is crazy, okay? When you show up the way that God made you as your authentic self, I will be ready to meet you. I think that's what she said, right? Paraphrasing what she said. It's amazing how these people, right? <laughs> they keep talking about how they want to be accepted for who they are. And it's like, yo, we're trying to accept you for who you are. We're trying to accept you the way that God made you, but for whatever reason, you don't want to accept yourself for who God made you. It's just incredible. It's absolutely amazing that they don't realize and understand that, right? While at the same time, again, begging to be accepted. Again, in the case of, you know, this mother and her child, people are just genuinely concerned about her child, right? They're like, yo, you're raising your kid to be non-binary, right? This is a seven-year-old. People are like, yo, this is... A <laughs> This is a problem. This is an issue. Okay? This is I mean, this, this is not normal. Right? We're concerned. And some people might say, well, that's none of your business. <laughs> right? Stay out of it. And it's like, okay, well, you know, if, if we knew that a parent was allowing their kid to smoke cigarettes and to drink alcohol and to do all types of other reckless stuff, like do drugs, right? Shoot up heroin. Um, do you think that we should just stay out of it? <laughs> right? Just Just let it happen. Okay, because I, I think this is the same thing, right? When you are trying to transition your child, aka, you know, putting them on a path to putting hormones into their body, okay, something they don't understand with potentially irreversible long-term effects. Uh, yeah, I think that's like kind of the equivalent of that, right? I think you're getting into that ballpark, into that area of, well, yeah, maybe there should be some intervention. Who knows, right? I'm just saying. I understand the argument for it. But, um, yeah, I mean, Target is in an interesting position here. It seems like they're pissing off uh both sides of the political aisle now and this uh this is what happens when you go woke you have to choose a side right if you go woke be prepared to choose a side because you know if you try to do the halfway thing uh both sides are gonna be pissed off right and this is another example let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment subscribe most importantly share a black sort of perspective peace